the, the only company with all the ingredients for making intelligent humanoid robots at scale is Tesla. This is a super big deal. Tesla just updated its shareholders on its progress, bringing its Optimus humanoid robot to market, seeking to calm nerves amid controversy. Elon Musk's heavy involvement with the Trump administration's Department of Government Efficiency has triggered backlash that's increasingly affecting Tesla's bottom line. Investors are concerned Musk's doge activities are distracting him from his leadership role as the EV maker's stock value has fallen more than 40% this year. Backlash has been mounting since Musk took on an active role in Trump's 2024 campaign. As Doge seeks to dramatically reduce the size of the U.S. federal government, Tesla dealerships and charging stations have been targeted by arsonists and vandals. Onboard cameras have caught activists damaging personal Tesla vehicles, leading to serious charges. In a statement tonight, Pam Bondi says, quote, the swarm of violent attacks on Tesla property is nothing short of domestic terrorism. The Department of Justice has already charged several perpetrators with that in mind. In London, climate activists poured orange liquid latex over an early Optimus prototype on display at a dealership. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really come as quite a shock to me that there is this level of, of really uh, hatred and violence from the left. You know, Democrats were supposed to be the party of, of empathy, the party of caring, and yet they're burning down cars, they're firebombing dealerships, they're uh, firing bullets into dealerships. To address concerns, Musk just held an impromptu all-hands meeting, live-streamed on his ex-social media platform. He emphasized Tesla's ongoing progress in AI and robotics predicting that the Optimus humanoid robot will increase the manufacturer's profits by trillions. So Tesla's the leader in real-world AI. Um, what we learned from the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. So in order for robots to be useful, that you have to they have to be they have to be intelligent. They have, have to be able to do useful things just by asking, and you have to be able to make a large number of them um, at an affordable price. Musk said Tesla bots are currently being built in Fremont, with plans to scale production in Tesla's Austin Gigafactory. The Optimus robots coming off the production line now feature new hands with 22 degrees of freedom, which double the dexterity of the Generation 2 design. Musk said Tesla aims to manufacture 5,000 Optimus humanoids by the end of 2025 and 50,000 in 2026. The target is down from Musk's previous stated goal of 10,000 robots during the last investor's call. However, Musk admitted at the time the target was highly aspirational. Normal internal plan calls for roughly 10,000 Optimus robots to be built this year. Will we succeed in building 10,000 exactly by the the end of December this year? Uh, probably not, we, 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 but I, would, will we succeed in making several thousand? Yes, I think we will. Will those several thousand Optimus robots be doing useful things by the end of the year? Yes, I'm confident they will, do, they will do useful things. But since it's a totally new product with totally new, you know, like everything is totally new, um, I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10th, you know, half of the 10,000 now, but, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion. FYI, which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots. So I'd be like, whoa, okay. Um, Tesla is positioning Optimus as a general purpose robot that can do everything from household chores to industrial tasks to social companionship. It uses Tesla's real world AI to understand and react to its surroundings. Musk first announced the Tesla bot concept during Tesla's AI Day event in 2021, featuring a person in a costume in lieu of a working prototype. Now, unlike, jo unlike Dojo, obviously that was not real. <laughs> uh, so Dojo is real, uh, the Tesla bot will be real. The first Optimus prototype emerged the following year, and in 2023, Tesla unveiled a second-generation iteration with a slimmer design, improved hands, and more human-like movements. By 2024, 
Tesla ramped up hiring for the humanoid robotics program and a limited number of the robots began doing light work at the carmaker's gigafactory. In the last few years, the emerging market has transformed dramatically. In the US, Tesla faces stiffening competition. Silicon Valley-based figure AI recently announced its spot Q robot factory for scaling production of its next-generation humanoids. The company is aiming to manufacture 10,000 humanoids a year from the plant. One X Technologies, which operates out of California and Norway, has similar lofty goals. The startup's Neo Gamma humanoid robot generated buzz during NVIDIA's GTC 2025 conference, where the robot gifted Jensen Wong a custom leather jacket. One X just shared this footage of the robot training at an employee's home. The company plans to deploy a limited number of the robots to real homes this year as it moves toward mass production. Other perceived leaders like Apptronic, Agility Robotics, and Boston Dynamics are also accelerating the development of their humanoids with help from the GPU maker. There's also a growing number of Chinese firms that are announcing new breakthroughs nearly every day. Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics has been particularly disruptive with its short robot, the G1, which starts at $16,000. The robot is shown here demonstrating its martial arts skills. However, Musk maintains that Tesla is best positioned to scale production of humanoids. The only company with all the ingredients for making intelligent humanoid robots at scale is Tesla. This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that, on this front, is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. Musk said Tesla employees will get first access probably in the second half of 2026. Uh, there, there are some pluses and minuses to that, you know. Because um, it's uh, probably have a few bugs, but uh, but it's it's going to be very cool. Um, you definitely you'll want to invite your friends over and say check this out. Tesla aims to eventually offer its humanoids for around the price of a modest vehicle. When they're first available to the general public, they'll be much pricier as production is scaled. It'll likely be a status symbol for people like Kim Kardashian, who was photographed with an Optimus robot for this feature in Perfect Magazine. The biannual publication focuses on luxury fashion imagery. In 10 years, how is life going to be different because of AI for, for just a, a normal person? On Senator Ted Cruz's podcast, Musk predicted there will be billions of humanoid robots in use in a decade. With so many robots, he said goods and services will be nearly free. By the way, I got to ask, how come your robots look so much like the creepy robots for my robot? Was, was that intentional or just... Uh... Uh, we'll, and we'll iterate the design. Um, you, and you, you'll be able to have... A lot of the robot parts are cosmetic. You'll be able to switch out the kind of snap-on cosmetic parts of the robot to make it look like, like something else if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Well, Musk believes an age of abundance is on the horizon, he said there's a decent chance things could go sideways. How real is the prospect of, of killer robots annihilating humanity? 20% likely. Maybe wow. 10%. I mean, you could look at it like the, the glass is 80-90% full. One startup recently emerged seeking to build the U.S. military's first robotic humanoid soldier. For more on that, check the related video.